Composing Her Own Life, the story of Fanny Mendelssohn. Fanny Mendelssohn was a German composer in the Romantic period. She lived in the 1800s, facing many troubles with sexism, especially from her father, Abraham. Fanny spent most of her life not performing her work and publishing songs under her brother's name. Two years after her father's death, she was finally able to begin publishing under her own name. Her story inspired many women even after her death, leaving a trail for other women composers to follow. Fanny Cecile Mendelssohn was born into a privileged and affluent lifestyle, but still had obstacles and boundaries to overcome because she was female. As a woman in the 1800s, she faced many challenges with the discrimination on the basis of her female gender, especially from her father. Abraham Mendelssohn Bartholdry, Fanny's father, got married to Leah Solomon, her mother, in 1804. A year later, they had Fanny, the eldest of four children, on November 14, 1805. Her siblings are Jacob Ludwig Felix Mendelssohn, born on February 3, 1809, Rebecca Henriette Mendelssohn, born on April 11, 1811, and Paul Mendelssohn, born on October 30, 1813. Growing up, Fanny always loved music. Her mother, Leah, noticed that Fanny had Bach fugue fingers, or strong fingers, that are excellent for playing the piano. Leah Mendelssohn also played the piano and gave Fanny and Felix their first piano lessons. And by the age of 14, Fanny memorized and performed all 24 preludes from J.S. Bach's well-tempered clavier for her father in 1818. As children, Fanny and Felix Mendelssohn were really close and stayed close throughout their entire lives. They were best friends and did everything together. Even though their lives went in different directions and locations, they still kept in touch writing each other letters frequently. In 1821, Fanny told her father she wanted to become a professional performer, and under no circumstances was he going to let her. He once told her, Women have a difficult task, the constant occupation with the apparent trifles, the unremitting attention to every detail, the appreciation of every moment and its improvement for some benefit or other. All these and more are the weighty duties of a woman. He didn't feel that women belonged in the music world. In fact, he also thought it would become a stain and embarrassment to their upper-class family's reputation. On the other hand, her brother Felix was allowed to become a composer and performer. Fanny found this very unfair, but she had to obey her father's rules. That's just the way the world was back then. Abraham said to Fanny, Music will perhaps become his profession, whilst for you it can and must only be an ornament, never the root of your being and doing. In other words, she had to keep it a hobby for entertainment purposes only. It could never be her career. And so Fanny could not publish her music ever, and there was nothing she could do to change her father's mind except leave home, which she could not do. Later in the year of 1821, she met artist Wilhelm Hensel, 11 years older than her, at an exhibition and became romantically involved. Against her mother and father's approval, because of the age difference, Wilhelm and Fanny would exchange letters and gifts for the next eight years. He would later become an encouraging force behind her career, helping her accomplish her success by supporting her with his encouragement and motivation. In 1827, Fanny published three songs under her brother Felix's name in his Opus 8. 
secrecy still had to be kept. In 1829, Fanny married Wilhelm Hensel on October 3rd, 1829. A year after her marriage, Fanny gave birth to her son, Sebastian Hensel, on June 30th, 1830. Sebastian would later write a book about his family's successes in the music industry titled The Mendelssohn Family, Letters and Journals. Fanny spent almost the rest of her life not sharing her work with the world until 1837, two years after her father's death on November 19, 1835, she was finally able to publish her first song under her own name. In August of 1839, Fanny, Wilhelm, and their son Sebastian took a trip abroad that Fanny had been dreaming of since she was a young girl. Their first stop was to visit her brother Felix and his family in Leipzig, Germany. They traveled to Munich, continuing south to Switzerland, and then into Italy, with Venice being one of her favorite cities. They went on to Rome, visiting family and friends along the way. Upon returning to Berlin a year later, Fanny continued to play in concerts and compose music. On May 14, 1847, during one of the rehearsals for an upcoming concert, her hands suddenly felt numb and she collapsed into unconsciousness. They called the doctor, but it was too late. Fanny Mendelssohn Hensel, the gifted composer and pianist, had died. It's believed that she wrote for over 400 pieces of music, but only a small portion was published. Because of Fanny Mendelssohn Hensel, other women were also able to compose and publish their music. There were many to follow, like Carlotta Ferrari, Cecile Chaminade, Amy Beach, the Bolanger sisters, Margaret Sutherland, Julia Smith, Wanda Ladowska, Sarah Caldwell, Ruth Crawford, Emma Lou Dimer, Dyla Atlas, and Joan Tower. Fanny Mendelssohn Hensel pioneered the way and showed the world women can also compose and perform music. <laughs>